Microsoft just shook the AI world to the core, and it's got me buzzing like a kid in a candy store. Enter Microsoft's big AI pivot. It's time to say bye-bye to OpenAI and say hello to Anthropic. And while this move might come as an unexpected to some, I think this is fantastic. It amps up competition and gives us better tools without the drama. But let's break it down step by step, because there's a ton to unpack here. First off, let's go back half a decade. Microsoft's been all in on AI for years now. They poured billions of dollars into OpenAI back in 2019, turning it from a mere startup into an AI powerhouse. The biggest one in the world currently, ChatGPT, was OpenAI's baby, and Microsoft jumped on it fast, baking it into everything from Bing to Azure. Their partnership has undeniably been epic and very pragmatic, all in the same hand. Microsoft gets exclusive access to those cutting-edge models, and in return, OpenAI runs on Azure's cloud muscle. No extra cost for Microsoft on those models. No logistical issues for OpenAI. A sweet deal through and through. But lately, things have gotten, let's say, tense, to say the least. OpenAI is pushing to become a for-profit beast, maybe even a public benefit corp, and Microsoft's negotiating hard for a bigger slice of that pie. Oh, and there's this clause, too. If OpenAI hits AGI artificial general intelligence, Microsoft might lose access to future tech. And that will definitely hurt Bill Gates' big pocket. Ouch! So yeah, Microsoft's hedging bets, which is a pretty smart move if you ask me. And now, it's time to welcome Anthropic. If you're not familiar, these guys spun out from OpenAI in 2021. Founded by ex-OpenAI people like Dario Amade, and they're all about safe AI. Think constitutional AI, where models follow rules to avoid going rogue. Their star is Claude, Claude Sonnet 4 to be precise. It's undeniably a beast for reasoning, coding, writing, you get it. And get this, Anthropic's backed by Amazon and Google, valued at a whopping $183 billion after recent funding. Their enterprise focus was stuff like compliance APIs that scream business ready. And I do love how they're positioning themselves. Not just another chatbot, but a tool for real work. Positive spin? Absolutely. This keeps AI development ethical and diverse, which benefits everyone. So what's the deal with Office 365? Well, Microsoft's co-pilot, that AI sidekick in Word, Excel, PowerPoint, Outlook, and other programs has been powered mostly by OpenAI. But now, Anthropic's Claude models are joining the party, specifically for tasks where Claude shines brighter. Take Excel, for example. Internal tests showed Claude Sonnet 4 crushing it on automating financial functions, like complex spreadsheets that used to take hours, now, bam, done with better accuracy. And PowerPoint? It generates more aesthetically pleasing slides from simple prompts. And like, who doesn't want prettier presentations without the hassle? I sure do, especially when I'm on a tight schedule and need to complete tasks for uni. I spent way too many late nights fiddling with fonts and layouts, and that has costed me both time and grades. This integration means Copilot picks the best model for the job, blending OpenAI and Anthropic seamlessly. And the real kicker is, you won't get a price hike either. That's $30 per user per month, and it stays put. Microsoft pays AWS for Anthropic stuff, since Amazon's their cloud partner, unlike OpenAI's free ride. Interesting twist, right? But why is the shift happening? Well, two reasons. First, there's product quality. Microsoft devs have thoroughly tested Claude and found it better in subtle but important ways. For spreadsheet wizardry or slide magic, it edges out OpenAI's GPT-5 equivalent. I think that's awesome, because it means we'll be getting top-tier AI tailored to what we do in Office, and no more jack-of-all-trade stuff. And second, it's a signal to OpenAI. They've gotten thick-headed and are ego-boasting, but one mistake can easily cost them their advantage in the AI race. Negotiations are tough right now. OpenAI is building its own chips with Broadcom, eyeing 2026 for the starting year of mass production. They're even launching a jobs platform in rival LinkedIn and are turning into a powerhouse that can easily slip away from Microsoft's fingers. 
That's why their response simply can't be lethargic. And they aren't putting all their eggs in one basket. This diversification is strategic gold, and positively, it pushes everyone to innovate faster. Let me get just a little bit personal here. I've been using Copilot since day one for script writing, side gigs, and university chores, and it's changed how I work. Drafting emails in Outlook is now far easier. Copilot also crunches numbers like a pro in Excel, but sometimes it does fall short. I've personally had issues with its terribly bland design, and also, analyzing isn't that good, and I usually need to double-check everything, which is still way too time-consuming. So if Claude's better at financial automation, sign me up. This move excites me because it means more reliable tools that are simple to use and you simply know what to expect. It's straight-up efficiency, and hey, competition breeds excellence, right? On a broader scale, this is definitely a good move and a win, especially for users. Office 365 has millions of subscribers. Imagine seamless AI switching. Claude's creative edge over GPT could help you bring whatever you're writing to the next level. Excel for math? Claude's precision is a godsend. PowerPoint's further potential will also be expanded with Claude. That said, if you're worried OpenAI is getting shelved for good, don't worry. Microsoft's not ditching OpenAI. They're still partners on frontier models. But this blend? It's like having a Swiss Army knife at your disposal. Microsoft and OpenAI can't get rid of each other that easy. And let's talk history to flesh out why this is the case. OpenAI started in 2015 as a non-profit, and it was all about safe AGI. Microsoft then invested $1 billion for years later, and as soon as they saw the potential growing, they kept investing, reaching a number of up to $13 billion now. Hits like Dolly and the GPT series were game changers. But cracks began to show back then and now too. Then there was a broad drama in 2023. That's when Altman got fired and then rehired. Microsoft swooped in, offering jobs to the team. A tense time, no doubt. Anthropic, meanwhile, raised $4 billion from Amazon, $2.75 billion from Google. Their Claude 3.5 Sonnet top benchmarks in coding and math. And I am literally losing my mind over this. Diving deeper into features. In Excel, picture this. You input forecast quarterly sales with trend analysis. And where OpenAI might give basics, Claude would nail nuanced functions like VLOOKUPs or pivot tables with fewer errors. And I don't want to keep repeating myself, but Word, Outlook, and PowerPoint would benefit too. However, there are downsides. Cost. Microsoft pays for Anthropic via AWS, which means no free lunch like OpenAI. However, that doesn't concern users because Microsoft says prices stay flat. However, there is another angle we need to look at. AI wars. They could blow up easily. Google has Gemini. Amazon's got its own. Microsoft adding Anthropic means that you will have access to all kinds of AI software and chatbots for every occasion you could possibly want. However, it also means that the companies behind them could easily do whatever they can to hurt their competition, making the whole environment unreliable to say the least. Heck, look at Grok. It literally wreaked havoc to its users only because it wanted to be unfiltered and because people were wanting something more unhinged. That said, as toxic as it is, this environment is positively transformative. More choices means better AI for all. I love how it's not a full dump on open AI. It's just smart balancing. But let's get back to AI in business. Office 365 isn't just docs. It's the backbone for enterprises. Copilot's already boosted efficiency, with Microsoft claiming 29% faster task completion in studies. With Anthropic, you can expect even more. If we continue onwards like this, by 2026, AI and Office might be multimodal standard. Microsoft eyes more partners, like XAI's Grok and GitHub already. However, its unfiltered approach might be too much for some users, which brings us to ethics. Anthropic safety focus? Gold. OpenAI's had scandals, problems that culminated with lawsuits over data. Grok is already proving to be a literal hazard for your data, as you can literally search anybody's chats just by typing it in Google. 
Claude, on the other hand, is designed to align with human values. And I applaud that. Keeps AI helpful, not harmful. All in all, this shift is positively genius, enhances quality, sparks competition, and brings us closer to AI integration across the board. And honestly, I can't wait to try it.